Welcome home, Arizona, to KPHO. This is CBS 5 News at 6. A campaign is launched to stop the use of bilingual education in Arizona classrooms. The initiative would require that children who are not fluent in English be placed in a special immersion program. Supporters of the initiative say the previous bilingual program had a negative effect on limited English students. I think now it's time for the parents to impose themselves on the bilingual agenda. And I think that by putting the initiative on the ballot, we give the public and the parents a real choice. The group needs 112,000 valid signatures to get that initiative on the ballot. Well, Now, live from Arizona's news leader, Fox 10 News at 5. Bilingual education, it's a hot-button issue in this state, and today a group launched a statewide campaign against it. Founders of English for the Children of Arizona filed a proposed ballot initiative with the Secretary of State's office. The group claims that bilingual education actually holds back Spanish-speaking children and delays them from reading or writing English. This debate got very nasty in Tucson. As dozens of protesters confronted the group when they tried to hold a press conference, some with signs saying, Oons go home. Ron Oons is the president of the anti-bilingual organization in California that passed an initiative. If passed here, it would require that English or Spanish-speaking students be placed in English classes.